So today we are going to work with a pip package known as request. So uh, following instructions must be followed. The first one is the Python must be installed on a machine and you do pip install request and you do import request. So Python must be installed, pip install request and you do import request on your machine. And I have a db.json file which emulates itself as a REST API. So let's work with this and for that what you need to do you need to start a terminal and I have already a uh, command running so what I'll do I'll refresh this so you need to run uh, you need to install a node.js on your local machine and then what you can do you can do npm install json server and do json server you can run this command json server minus minus watch db.json and there's a dash in between so this would emulate itself as a rest api so let me run this so here you can see that i have a json object known as meetings which in itself is a key a value pair which is a json array and then uh, just for your simplicity i can open this uh, so this is like you can send a get request and you will get the same response as db.json so basically this emulates itself as a rest api you can click on meeting slash one and okay since meetings uh the id one is not there so it turns an empty json object so which one are present so i'll show you two five ninety nine one fifty okay so let's move ahead with them so you can do two five ninety nine and let me do this check you out this is a 2 is present yes 2 is present 150 is present 150 is also present and the another like another 2 are 5 and 99 they are also present 5 and 99 so these are present so let's start with how we can interact with them using the pip package so you can move to the current directory and do uh, you can open VS code and then you can do import requests okay and you have an API and the API URL could be this you can remove this 99 and you can select this and you can do this and first is equal to response is equal to request dot get api so now you can do print you can simply print response dot status underscore pull now i can open the terminal and i can do python index dot py so this would return me the status code and this is turns out to be 200 so this is working perfectly fine now you can do another you can do you can comment this out and you can list it here and you can do uh, another could be response dot json then again you can run this so this would return with a json response so which is very much similar so just to make sure that 25 id with the 25 and 150 and uh, like 99 is present so let me do another another you can do response uh, response dot content so i would comment this out and this is response dot content and this is a unformatted text the last one i'll show you a response dot text which is a formatted json response so this is going to be this so this is a very much formatted and let's clear the screen now what you can do you can implement all those current operations so first is going to be a uh, response is equal to request dot get and i'll do a data and i'll define a data with the id2 okay and i'll do params is equal to data so then i'll do this and here you can see i forgot to print the response print 
response or text now i'll do this yes so you can see the one with the id 2 has been returned so inside my db.json and even in the rest the api i'll do meeting slash 2 so it would return me this so this is the two skype tuesday this json object has been returned which is similar as this so this rest api works as this then the another could be i'll make a post request so the post would be id would be the one okay because i told you that id one was missing so we're adding it id would be the one and the title is going to be uh, like planning okay and and the day would be the monday so this would return so i hope this is fine and for this what i'll do i'll make a post request and uh, now this time instead of params we have a data okay so instead of params we have a data and we do response or text and let me run this file okay so here you say, can see now it runs that object which has been added so i told you that id1 was missing so let's now do this so id1 turns out with this and even if you do show all the meetings so this ought to be with the everything the id2 is there 5 is there 99 150 and 1 like it's been added in the end but it is there okay so 1 is there and even if we do one like this so we also get the same response now since we have made the create operation we have already done uh, create by making a post we have done a create read we have already done we have read all and uh, like uh, up, like another one is the, like the which one we are left with update and delete so basically what you can do uh, you can uh what you can do so how to make a delete operation okay so i'll show you how to make a delete operation so basically you can define uh, id is equal to 2 and you need to define this as delete okay and what i'll show you because how do you make a delete operation i'll show you uh these are all the meetings and i want to delete with the 99 so what i can do uh you can click on delete and you can do this as 99 so delete on 99 would delete this 99 let me done delete so it returns me a null json object now when i when i do the get operations for all the meetings so 99 should not be there so i see 99 is missing so in the same way we are going to perform this so what we are going to request or delete according to api plus slash plus str id okay so let me delete with the id2 so it would return me the let's see a null json object which in fact showing me and when we check for id2 which should on refresh should be deleted so let's check and on refresh it has been deleted even in our db.json file you will find it being deleted so this is how we have implemented and this is like looks pretty good with the thing and this is how you can implement